Hello, and welcome to Slightly Impressive First Impressions. My name is Grifter, and we are playing Planet Calypso, a science fiction... Uh, well, the bubble disappeared. Okay, sure. Science fiction, free-to-play, MMO, RPG, FPS, question mark? I don't know. There's a whole lot of acronyms to describe this game, but it's been out since 2004, so it's been around a while, and... I've never heard about it, but the people who play this game just love it. There's like this small community of just rabid fans. So, I thought we would check it out. So far, uh, you know, it looks like like WoW in space, or a slightly janky version of SWOTOR with no lightsabers. Uh, the only difference so far is that you push E to jump instead of spacebar. Whoa, revolutionary, man. I'm not quite sure where we are. We're supposed to be in a tutorial area. Do I go into the crazy purple laser beams? Okay. Um, did I do a bad thing? Uh, okay. I presume that this is Planet Calypso. It's not very inviting. What do I look? Yeah, that's great. I am. I am one crazy looking dude, rocking the old man emo haircut on a young man, so, you know, you do what you gotta do. Is this like, is this poison gas? Am I gonna die? Oh right, E is jump. We, we discussed this already. E is jump. Spacebar is like aim mode, so, ooh. Um, <laughs> Well, I'm not quite sure what sort of objective we have going on here. I'm also not quite sure what is like... Uh, okay. Hey, you! You need a way to defend yourself if you're going outside. Hey, I agree. I completely agree. Whoa. That is elaborate. Okay. Uh, take this pistol. Oh. Things displayed in loot window. <laughs> I like how every other window in this game is just like the most plain boring thing you could possibly get and then the loot window over here is just like ridiculously over cluttered <laughs> like okay interesting design choice what am I doing uh you know what I think we can figure out how to use the weapon on our own it looks pretty straightforward like I'm assuming we like aim and hit the left mouse button I'm not sure how we grab the loot. So many buttons in this game. Look, look at the top of the screen. There's just buttons for days. Um, right, so I'd like to pick up the loot. Maybe I do need your help, sir. What if we close that? Here. Hey, buddy. Hey. Okay, I could use a lesson. Yes, okay. Opening your inventory by pressing the I key. Alright, makes sense. Weapons category, equip, blah blah, equip, the heads up display, okay. I'm ready. Left clicking, aim mode, yeah, so. So I'm assuming we've already. Oh. Alright, inventory, weapons. How do I equip? Equip? What is this? Weapon cells? Yeah, okay. Um, so, we gonna go into aim mode. Are we in aim mode now? And left click. I don't have any sort of target crosshairs. Oh, yeah, I do. I'm just dumb. No? No, I don't. Here, just shoot, shoot things. Huh. Am I in the right mode? What if we click on it? What are you doing, game? Alright, so I've got that handled. Alright. Do I have to click on the thing? This is just difficult. Why is that popping up? Okay. Well, a crosshair would certainly be beneficial especially since it's third person mode oh, come on now 
Do I have ammo? Doesn't look like it. I gotta destroy ten of these things. I've been shooting forever and I got three. Okay. Okay, let's let's try oh. Oh. First person mode. Okay. Well now why? Whatever game. Whatever. I can't say I'm the biggest fan of the tutorial so far. But I think this game is actually super deep and it's the kind of thing it's probably terrible to do a first impressions video on because it's something you need to play for a long time and learn how to play to really get any enjoyment out of. But for it to be considered a good game, I would still argue that it needs to have something that grabs your attention in the first few hours of playing or, you know, the first 30 minutes or so. So that's why we're playing it. Hello. Stop evading me. Are you serious? All right, let's go find some more stupid little drone things. I still gotta kill three of them. Here, drone things. Oh, there's some back here. They're cleverly hiding right next to where all the other ones were. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. One more, one more, we got this. You can do this, Griff. All right, jeez, there, I killed your stupid drones. Good work, you've ever attacked target drones, you managed just fine. All right, all right, if I'm attacked by target drones that, um, with no sort of time limit at all, you're a new arrival, correct? You should go talk to Mr. Yoshida. It's just outside that big door over there. Oh yeah, I got some more loots. Look at your fancy loot window. I don't know if this thing in the bottom right is supposed to be a map, but it is an unsatisfactory one. Let's use our E-jump on the way there. Do, 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 do. So one thing I do want to mention about this game is its big feature that they keep touting in their promotional stuff is that the in-game currency can be converted to real currency at a rate of 10 ped for one US dollar. And they're really trying to make it seem like you could make money in this game. Which, you know, I could devote a whole bunch of time to probably. And maybe. Why is everything pink? This doesn't seem correct. I guess we'll just wait for a minute while the game loads. Man, this snow effect is killing my computer. Really? This is an old game computer, just man up and handle it. Okay. Greetings, colonist. I am Mr. Yoshida. Oh, good, we found you. Okay. You're a passenger, I can arrange transport. Uh, yep. Well, I. Uh, should we do the tutorial? I feel like we should do the tutorial. Do your current mission. I should be reading this stuff, it's probably important, but. If you can't play this game without reading a million things, then it's not for me. Um, I like I like it. I like your outfit, Mr. Yoshida. When do I get cool armor like that? All right, let's head to the question mark. That's probably where we're going. Hey there, Jimmy. <laughs> Mr. Yoshida said that you might need some help and stuff. So, uh, let me. Let me help you. We're looking for broken things, huh? Alright, I'll fix the broken things. When do I get my cool armor? I'm I'm kind of cold. Could I at least have like a scarf? Or a parka? Maybe some gloves? Having trouble? No, I wasn't. I, I hadn't even tried yet. I'm a slacker. I'm a slacker, Jimmy. You should never have hired me. You should never trust Mr. Yoshida. He's completely undiscerning um is this this looks like a broken thing let's fix it let's operate it revival terminate recreate your body and mind after death wow 
Where do I get one of those? It seems like once you invent that, we can just stop inventing things, because that's about all you need, right? Just a mind and body re... Recomposer? What did it say? Like, I don't know. Oh, this tutorial is hard. What do I do? <laughs> Here, let's... Just find... Limited... Find the connection issue. Okay. Uh, do you see any sort of connection issues? Everything looks pretty... Pretty ship shape to me, pretty well connected. Uh, should I be going down here to find connection issues? Oh, there's like a Yeti or something. Let's help, let's help Homie here. He seems to be wrestling the Yeti. A pygmy chomper young. If I, uh, if I attack him, are you going to get mad? Did I do a bad thing just now? Oh no, oh no, I may have done a bad thing. He looks like he was trying to do something. This is, this is like a hunter trying to tame a pet and me just completely screwing it all up. I'm sorry, homie. I'm sorry. Here, here, go back to whatever you were doing. Okay, um, anyway, let's go back to looking for a connection, or something. Oh, man. I mean, that thing looks broken up there, right? Let's go talk to Jimmy. Jimmy, I can't figure it out, I'm too stupid. It's located on the pillar near the blast door. Alright, so, the blast door... I presume is that. Now we're looking for a pillar. A pillar near is it? That, I mean, that looks like a pillar to me. We're calling this a pillar. Oh look, there's a connection issue. Look, your wires aren't hooked up. See, Jimmy, you're a moron. Just hook up your wires properly, and you won't need to hire so many people to do your jobs for you. Report back to Jimmy. Okay, good. I'm, I'm doing the right thing. Let's E-jump our way over there. E-jump. Look! Look, Jimmy! I can move forward, I can move backwards, I can strafe, and I can E-jump! Uh, what are you saying to me, Jimmy? A severed cable. Look, I'm gonna fix the cable. Those choppers are probably gonna break it again. You got a weapon rack. See? I was supposed to kill the choppers. I'm gonna... Alright. I mean chompers. Get to the chomper! Uh... That was the worst. That was the worst impression I've ever made. So, my hair's looking a little more golden now. <laughs> Alright, I look so excited to be killing choppers. Chompers? Choppers? I don't know. Oh, we gotta be in game mode. I'm not a huge fan of the controls. Got you, Mr. Chomper. You're mine. I'm all over this. I like that the dam num damage numbers are nice and huge. That's exciting. Okay, do I get any loot from Mr. Chomper? Yes, I do. Oh, look at that skeleton border. They put so much effort into into the loot window borders. What is this? Animal muscle oil? Why is the loot window so huge? <laughs> Alright. There's more chompers to deal with. Oh, am I in? Yeah, okay. I don't know why I keep holding down the right mouse button. Oh, oh, this is a fast one. We got a live one. This is a strange beast. He seems to have a tiny little head. And big ol' squishy body. All right, we got a Calypso bone sample. We got a BLP pack, whatever that is. Some animal oil residue. Uh, I mean, what more could you possibly need to set up a new life on an alien planet? Uh, how do I move? There we go. 
so I can't shoot while holding down the key that lets me move the camera. That's interesting. What's happening? Okay. Evade. They're so evasive. Evasive pygmy chompers, yo. So this is a young pygmy chomper. So it's like a, a little one of the little variety. So I'm assuming we're gonna see some huge chompers at some point, right? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, okay. How many of these do I have to kill? Oh, oh, I've already, I've fulfilled the requirements. Jimmy, I killed the chompers. I don't know why I've still got my gun out like a lunatic. Alright, good. Put down your gun. Here. Shooby dooby doo, Jimmy! Jimmy, I killed the chompers for you at the little pygmy once. I did, I did. I don't want to be a pain or anything, but I need your help with one more thing. Of course you do. Take this vehicle and go replace the battery for me. Sure. Battery replacing. That's... There's not a vehicle in this loot window, Jimmy. Okay, uh... I'm gonna need you to tell me how to use a vehicle, Jimmy. It's okay to short walk down the mountain on the right side. Yeah, yeah, okay. But how... Let's try the inventory window. Do we have vehicles? Vehicle tab? I do like that it puts everything in tabs. I wish WoW did that. Actually, I think they were talking about it, like you were you're gonna be able. To, it doesn't matter. We're playing a different game. Okay. No, I mean it doesn't. Oh, okay. Miscellaneous. Sure. Yeah. Let's spawn the vehicle. Whoa. Whoa. Really? Let's not spawn it like halfway into the ground. Let's do that. That was like a good place for it. Grifter Grift. Cupcake and Stein's vehicle. <laughs> just, just get in there. Just get on in there. How do I make it go? Uh, the go button's not, not doing anything. Uh, none of the buttons are doing things. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Um. Do I have to turn it on? Am I, am I out of gas? It kind of looks like I'm out of gas. Just, I mean... Oh, we're out of fuel. It's telling me down there we're out of fuel. Look, you didn't give me any fuel, Jimmy. Right? Let's check our inventory and see. Mind resources. We have oil. Can does, Is oil a fuel? Animal muscle oil, oil residue. What's that? Milk. Jimmy, you jerk. You gave me a vehicle with no, f no oil. I mean, really? Now I gotta go find an unpowered turret on foot. He said it was a short walk. This is a person. Scarior, Sylor Dominion, CEO. Oh, is he like a guild leader? That there, yeah, that's an important person. So, where's this turret? I wonder. Is this? Is this? Uh, really? I walked so far out of the way and just gave up, and walked all the way back, like. 10 minutes, 10 minutes I cut out of me just walking through the snow. And this, this is what I was looking for, it's just right here next to the base. Okay, well there's, there's your battery. I got your battery. Replace it. There you go, there you go, now the turret works. People are clapping, they're like, good job stupid. <laughs> you finally found it. You only went three miles out of the way. Hello, colonist, do you read me? Blah, 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 blah. You must go there and aid him. Patrol to save my life. 
What is that rude? Alright. So Paul Reinhardt. Oh yeah, he's all the way down the mountain. I saw Paul Reinhardt. He didn't have anything to say to me. He was like, are you here to kill the phasm? And I was like, what's a phasm? There's gotta be some way to get in my vehicle to fuel it up. Let's go talk to Mr. Yoshida. Mr. Yoshida, this is not what I thought colony life would be. Having trouble finding Paul Ryan? No, no I'm not. Look, I have a mission to talk to you. Mr. Yoshida, I I have a quest. I have a quest to find you. All right, now I have a quest to fuel up my car. Um, extract fuel. That's that's not that's not what I need to do. If you open vehicle inventory. Um, I, oh, 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 pick up, let's just, let's pick it up, okay, so, uh, I think we're gonna stop there, my homework is to figure out how to fuel up a vehicle, uh, if I get that figured out, then we will continue on and I will go find Mr. Reinhardt. Um, alright, so there is a link in the description if you'd like to check out the game if s somehow I convinced you that you should play this. Uh, please use the link below because then they'll know that I sent you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Okay, bye.